Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. The souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven. The saints who followed the footsteps of Christ, and since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exalt with Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Paul Miki and 25 of his companions, martyrs in Japan. And today also we celebrate the 442nd anniversary of the establishment of the Archdiocese of Manila. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, to my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have, I have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in my in thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in what, in I, what have I have done and in what I have failed, failed to do. Through my, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous, grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary Ever-Virgin, Ever Virgin, all, all the angels, angels and saints, and you, and my, you my brothers and sisters, and sisters to pray to for me to the, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of all the saints, who through the cross we are pleased to call the martyrs, St. Paul, Miki, and companions to life, grant, we pray, that by their intercession, 
we may hold with courage even until death to the faith that we profess through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, through Jesus, let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise. That is, the fruit of lips that confess his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have. God is pleased by sacrifices of that kind. Obey your leaders and defer to them, for they keep watch over you and will have to give an account that they may fulfill their task with joy and not with sorrow, for that would be of no advantage to you. May the God of peace who brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep by the blood of the eternal covenant, Jesus our Lord, furnish you with all that is good, that you may do his will. May he carry out in you what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Please all stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. 
and he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning to everyone. Today is a doubly memorable day because in February 6, 1579, 442 years ago, this diocese, the Archdiocese of Manila, was established. And on February 6 of 1597, 425 years ago, St. Paul Miki and 25 Franciscans, Jesuits, and laymen and women in Japan were crucified on a hill in Nagasaki. Let me begin with a true, a true story. On March 17, 1865, a French missionary in Japan, Father Bernard Petitjean, was sitting in his church in Nagasaki. He had come to Japan as a missionary, following the footsteps of St. Francis Xavier, the Jesuit missionary who had opened up Japan to Christianity. After 250 years of being prohibited, when tens of thousands had been tortured, banished or killed, Christianity was once again legal in Japan, and Father Bernard had built a church dedicated to St. Paul Miki and his companions who had been crucified on that same hill in Nagasaki. He had hoped that the memory of the Christians would bring the Japanese to the church. So on that day, on March 17, 1865, a few weeks after the church was opened, he was sitting in the convent when he heard a noise made by a group of Japanese who had entered the church. He went inside the church and saw them speaking in whispers and pointing at the cross. When he went near, speaking to them in Japanese, one middle-aged woman whispered excitedly, We have the same heart as you. Surprised, he asked the woman, Where are you from? And the woman named a village a few miles away. Then the woman pointed to the group and repeated her whisper, We have the same heart as you. Then she asked the priest, Where is the image of the Santa Maria? Stunned, Father Bernard gradually came to understand that he was seeing the descendants of the Christians who had gone underground when the church was made illegal in 1587. The woman told him that long ago, one of their holy men had prophesied that after seven generations, the priests of Jesus would return to Japan and restore the faith. That year, 1865, was seven generations after the prophecy was made. And so they had come to Father Bernard, telling him, we have the same heart as you. Over the next years, Father Bernard would journey throughout the country and meet other groups of these Kakure Kirisitane, the hidden Christians of Japan. For over 250 years, deprived of any priest, with no sacrament except baptism, they had maintained the faith meeting in secret, teaching their children in secret, knowing that their discovery would mean death. They had maintained one heart, and they had come to the priest who shared that one heart with them, saying, we have the same heart as you. This year, my brothers and sisters, we celebrate 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. And today, February 6, 2021, the Feast of St. Paul Miki, killed on February 6, 1597, we are celebrating the foundation of the Archdiocese of Manila, established on February 6, 1579. I, as a Dominican, am specially honored to be celebrating this Mass. The first bishop was the Dominican, Fray Domingo de Salazar, who served here in this same cathedral from 1579, or in this same archdiocese, from 1579 to 
from 1579 until his death in 1594. I think there were five or six other Dominicans who served as bishops of Manila. After 500 years of Christianity, we would do well to ask ourselves, do we still share the same heart as that of the Christians of Japan who died for their faith? Do we still share the same faith as the earliest missionaries, as Fray Domingo de Salazar, who came to the Philippines to share this faith? Today, we are in a situation similar to the hidden Christians of Japan, or in a way similar in some ways. In these times of the pandemic, we could not worship totally openly. Our churches are open only to a few. Confessions, processions, the practice of the faith is severely limited. I can remember in the early days of the pandemic in March to June 2020, I was a missionary in the Babuyan Islands below Batanes, and the people from the hills would trek tearfully to the chapel and beg for mass, but we could not because they were prohibited except in private. Here in Manila, we can hear Mass, there is the internet, but most of us cannot receive the Eucharist or even confess our sins or have the sick and the dying anointed, especially those with the virus. In this situation, we can learn from the hidden Christians of Japan. The years in which they had to hide their faith only strengthened their longing. From their grandparents, they heard of the heroism of their saints who were beheaded, crucified, and burned because they would not abandon Christ. They heard of the Mass in which a miracle occurred, the bread and wine turned into the body and blood of God. Cheerfully, they sang the ancient Latin songs, even though long ago they had forgotten what these meant, and fearfully they would recite the rosary alone or meeting together in caves and in forests. And as the years passed, their longing for God and His sacraments grew. Such a longing that when they finally saw the cross and the image of the Virgin in the church of Father Petijan, they broke down in tears. But one other thing, not every one of the hidden Christians of Japan returned to the church. After 250 years of not being in contact with any of the priests, not receiving the sacraments, they had become used to going their own way. And so when Father Bernard came to them, inviting them to return to the church, they said, no, we will do as we have always done. We will go our own way. So the question for us in these days of the COVID-19, will our longing grow so that when we are free at last to worship fully again, we would worship with hearts burning, sharing the same love that animated St. Paul Miki, the martyrs of Japan, the hidden Christians, and the first missionaries who established the church in our country? Or would we become or we, would we have become used to going without prayer, without the church, without God, preferring instead to go our own way? Let us pray that our, our choices will lead us to the first. Amen. Please all stand. Aware of the need to escape from the demanding activity of life in order to strengthen and restore our inner spirit, we approach God the Father in humble prayer. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who exercise leadership in the church may keep their commitment alive in the preaching of the gospel 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That we who are burdened with heavy work may come away and rest a while and find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That those who have abandoned their faith may be led back to the family of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That through the intercession of Mary, the sick may find healing from their infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may dwell in the Lord's house forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. We remember also in our prayers, Fray Domingo de Salazar O.P., all the, the martyrs and all the missionaries who served here in this diocese and in the country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we lift up to God our own intentions, the intentions of this Mass, and the intentions of those who have asked for our prayers. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, you call us to be with you. May we be faithful in following your Son on the way to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness you have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. For the mystery of this world, the mind is simple. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness you have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters stand. and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings you bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. and their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts. heaven, heaven and, earth and earth are, are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he, is he who, comes who comes in the name, in the of, the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Broderick our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul Miki and his companions, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.